Hello, everyone. My guest today is Thiago Verni. He is an entrepreneur, journalist, developer, and passionate about innovation. He's got more than eight years building software in Brazil and deep learning to, uh, on how to deliver value to customers through IT. Today, he's an advocate. Uh, he advocates a safer, faster, and more scalable internet through entrepreneurship. His company that he's focused on is NetZe. We'll focus on that today. Thiago, are you ready to take us to the top? Yes. Thanks for the show, Nathan. I'm I'm very grateful to be here and to start this conversation with you. Thank you so much for joining. So, tell us about the company. What do you do, and how do you make money? Well, Nathan, it's a, a SaaS CMS uh, that publishes websites in a CDN. So, for the people that don't know what is a CDN, it's a kind of hosting uh, that publishes. Um, website so uh, a web solution around the globe so uh, when you publish a website in this you have this kind of uh, 100 of nodes publishing this website so it's more security more faster and uh, better to scale in digital solutions very good and what's your is it a pure SaaS company oh but uh, I didn't listen. Is your Sorry. revenue model is it only is it software as a service only? Yes. Uh, well, we are we started selling uh, websites uh, in this model with the solution for uh, agents uh, entrepreneurs here in Brazil. Um, we we started selling in a size B two B model in a, a revenue monthly revenue and. Um, uh, it's a SaaS B2B. Okay. And what year did you launch? Uh, well, we launched like um, one year ago. So um, we started with these partnerships with agents that uh, had this problem to uh, scale digital solutions for their clients. So uh, through this um, software, they can create a new website publishing the CDN and start to uh, capture uh, uh, better clients for them. And what was your what's your revenue today? How much per month? Well, yeah, we we have uh, like a fifty clients today with the monthly revenue. Uh, we are getting like uh, uh, twenty uh, uh, to fifty thousand uh, dollars per month. Uh, like, um, uh, so, sorry. That's okay, Thiago. Yeah. So you're doing right now, you're doing 20,000 United States dollars per month? Yeah. Yes. Uh, no, $5,000 per month. Okay. $5,000. And so your total revenue today is $5,000 per month? Yes. And like, how many, like that. and how many customers? Yes. We are like a, 30 or 40 customers now. Okay, so uh, 30 customers and all together, they pay you $5,000 per month. So each one pays about 100, 150 bucks per month. Yes, it's like uh, like that. That's well, great. We, and have you raised capital or are you bootstrapped? Bootstrapped. We, we started in bootstrapping these. Uh, I worked in uh, two agencies that we uh, produced websites in WordPress, uh, we saw that was a, a great problem uh, when the clients uh, create a website with this platform because um, they pay a lot for this. And after they published the website, uh, had a lot, lot of problems like uh, lack of security, like uh, uh, performance. So uh, we started building this. Uh, to to allow them to have a, a better solution in security and is scalability. Mm -hmm. And what's your team size today? How many people? Yeah, uh, it's me and more uh, three people uh, working with us. So uh, we like uh, four, five today. Five people total. And yeah. and is everybody based in Floripa down there in Brazil? Yes, yeah, everybody here in Brazil. Very good. What about churn? Do you know what your churn is or is it too early? I think it's too early. Uh, we didn't have uh, any churn 
uh, now. Uh, we have a, like an early contract, so uh, the clients uh, renew after a year. Um, we are getting better uh, in this kind of contract with them to um, get more uh, kind of service uh, together. So uh, it's like that. And Chiago, why why did you launch this company? You know, launching a company is very difficult. Why are you doing it? Well, uh, we saw that uh, it's very difficult today to create um, a scalable web solution for uh, a, a cheap price. So it was uh, we saw this was a problem in the digital marketing uh, digital market here. Um, the people start to create a campaign, put uh, a traffic on website, and that goes down uh, with uh, <coughs> some thousands of uh, users uh, seeing that page. So it was always in my mind thinking that why uh, someone cannot have a page that can scalable to one million uh, people and have this uh, uh, a better uh, objective in campaign. So it was this in the beginning to allow people to have a better uh, digital marketing campaigns for their business. And Thiago, where are you in life? Did you leave your company, like your corporate job to do this? How old are you? Uh, when, when I did that or how, how old are you today? That? 28. So what were you doing before this? I I acted as a programmer in a tech company. It was a SaaS company in um, educational marketing. So they had a, a, a software for uh, management educa educational uh, universities. And are you happy that you left? Yes, I'm <laughs> very happy now. It's kind of difficult. Uh, Brazil is not for amateurs. It's very difficult, this scenario here. But uh, it's kind of interesting because uh, we are bringing some good results for our clients. They are uh, getting more clients uh, with these solutions. So uh, we are very uh, interested to getting grow up in this market. And all of them with uh, this uh, decoupled CMS and publish this uh, on a, a high tech uh, proposal to all of them uh, scale on digital marketing. So that's our goal. And uh, uh, I think we have to uh, maintain this kind of line. And how, how did you get your first 50, you know, 30 customers? Well, um, when I started this, uh, I was in a company and uh, I was working uh, um, on uh, other turn and uh, on, on afternoon and uh, uh, selling the for the, their customers in another time. So it was a part time job that I was uh, starting the company. Um, and uh, I was producing and creating all this concept. So the MVP, it was created uh, with this uh, context, with these clients, and they and we started growing with this. So get some point that uh, I saw, well, we have to start a team, we, we have to create some uh, based company to, to allow us to get more, more partnerships and uh, start growing in the in, here in our uh, city. Very good, Chiago. I like the story. I hope you come back on in a year and let us know how it's going. But for now, let's wrap up with the famous five. Number one, what's your favorite business book? Well, uh, I like the uh, wow well, English. I, Sorry by the language, but um, you speak uh, you speak great English. Don't worry. <laughs> no, thanks for that. Um, well, the first book I I like um, it's um, 
If you can't remember, that's okay. Uh, Daniel Carnegie. Um, uh, yes. Uh, how to make friends and... Um, how to win uh, friends and influence people. Influence people. That's I like a, a lot of this. Yes. Number two, um, is there a CEO that you're following or studying? Well, I like a lot of Bill Gates. Uh, I like some Brazilian entrepreneurs. Um, uh, so, um, rock content founder, uh, Diego Gomes, I like a lot. Um, it's a size B2B founder here, very famous. Uh, I like some, uh, another here in, in our capital too, that is Eric Santos, uh, founder of uh, Resultados Digitais. That's a, a SaaS B2B marketing company. Great. It's a CRM here. Number and three, uh, Thiago, what is your favorite online tool for building your business? Sorry, you can repeat again. What is me? your favorite online tool for building your business? Oh, the favorite tool? Uh, well, we like uh, a lot... Um, Trello, we use uh, a lot here in the company. Um, we use uh, Loom too for some business meetings and allow us for some customer success um, uh, proce procedures. Um, Great, those are two good ones, Trello and Loom. Number four, how many hours of sleep do you get every night? How, sorry, how, many, can repeat how many hours of sleep do you get every night? Five hours, five, six hours. Okay. And you're 28 <laughs> years old. What's your situation? Married, single, kids? Uh, I'm single, but uh, I, I I live with my girlfriend. But no, no kids? No kids, no. All right. Last question. What is something that you wish your 20-year-old self knew? Uh, what I wish? Well, I, uh, I want... Um, grow with uh, this uh, startup company and um, I think I have more time for the life I think grow up uh, with uh, a predictable revenue and uh, um, grow with this um, this company in so Guys, there you have it from Chiago. He's looking forward to growing with the company. He wishes he maybe would have enjoyed life more when he was a little bit younger. Launched NetZai back in 2017, now serving between 30 and 50 customers, doing 5,000 per month in revenue. They're bootstrapped. They've got about five people based down there in Brazil working on this product. Again, making content on sites, especially in Brazil, much easier and scalable with global CDN and other digital solutions. Uh, Thiago, thank you so much for taking us to the top. Oh, uh, thanks to uh, getting into the show. I, I'm very glad to be here. And uh, success for you, Nathan. Thank you. Thanks for everything.